In this world of trouble, I've seen sorrow and woe. But up there in heaven, Lord, I'll see no more. I'll know my pride. Thank you, Marla. Good to see everybody here tonight. My goodness, a full house again. Good to see a lot of you folks that haven't been here for a while. Sorry, I was taught not to do that. <laughs> when I was training to be a DJ, he said, don't chew gum. So, yeah. <laughs> saving it for later. I used to put it behind my ear until I had to start wearing glasses. But it's great did to see everybody. I did. I couldn't keep chewing it. It was falling out. So I've got it right here. We will no longer be taping the Mountain Music Showcase. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it used to get uh, in my hair, and that was a mess. You know how that is to get gum in your hair. Thanks to everybody for being here with us at uh, the Crooked Road General Store for Mount Music Showcase. See some friends that haven't been here for a while. One of my sweeties back there, I see you back there, is Miss Krista from over in uh, uh, Coburn, isn't it, up on the mountain there. And her friend, who's with you, Krista, your friend? Gary. Gary, good to see you. And also, Miss Tammy over here, she's with um, the uh, Celtic band Fire in the Kitchen. And good to see you, Tammy. And we're working to get them up here in April, so hopefully they'll be here. Uh, i got to get out of the way and let you folks hear these folks. They are tremendous. They are part of the McLean family band, or related anyway. And uh, I, um, like you know, I've told you before, when I see them on Facebook, I listen to them, and I'm going to say listen to them because uh, on Facebook, you know how that goes. But <laughs> we're going to find out. Anyway, please welcome to – oh, no, no, wait, sorry. Got to do this for sure. I almost forgot. I can't forget my veterans. Let's see some hands out there. I want to say thank you to our veterans, all of you. You bet. Thank you so much. Right. Because of all of you, never forget our veterans. Because of all of you here at the Crooked Road General Store and you veterans by way of television, thank you. Because of you, we are here. Now, everybody, please help me welcome to the old southern porch, Michael and Jennifer McLean. Thank you very much. Wow, we are so excited to be here with you all. We've been looking forward to this for a long time. Really glad to be here with you all tonight. We're going to start with a good old time tune, Grandfather's Clock. Michael McLean on that five string banjo. All right, we might sing you one here. Um, this is one that Jesse McReynolds wrote this song, and um, actually, he did this with Jim and Jesse, and then he wrote another verse. Allison Krauss um, produced an album for um, the Cox family, and she asked if he would write another verse for this song, and so he did. And we're gonna we're gonna do it for you now. It's called "Pardon Me." <laughs> Pardon me, but I think you're 
that I've been waiting on for so long. Pardon me, could we walk in the moonlight just to see the gospel song, um, one called Will There Be Any Stars in My Crown? Any stars, any stars in 
Y'all might know this one too, so sing along if you know it. It's Jesus Hold My Hand. As I travel through this pilgrim land, there is a friend who walks with me. Leads me safely through the sinking sand. a new CD. We did we did it ourselves. It took us forever <laughs> to get it done, um, but that's one we want, really want to put that one on there. It just means a lot to us. And uh, that's I, I play banjo, and I learned that tune. Um, my dad taught me how to play banjo. He's here with us tonight, and my mom and dad, Foy and Reva Banks. And we're originally from the Hillsville, Virginia area. Well, really, like we're from Snake Creek, I would have to say. <laughs> but um, around there, we are. <laughs> that might have that beat there. <laughs> I already forgot what I was going to say about that. I know. Oh, yeah, so it's on the CD, and um, Michael's, because of the magic of Memorex, not Memorex anymore, I guess, but um, he's he's playing banjo on that one and guitar. And uh, we had Ronnie um, 
really blessed to have Ronnie McCurry came and played mandolin, and he's picking on that one. And um, Dan Kelly plays with us, plays fiddle, and when we have our we have four of us in our whole band. And we're going to be back, yeah, right, yeah. Marla? June, Yay, come on. June the 12th. And so <laughs> Reserve we'll, your seats. <laughs> well, uh, Dan will be with us and, and Corey, so we'll we hope to see you all then, too. Yeah, and so that one's on there. And, and my first contest was at Galax, um, one of my first banjo contests I entered when I was 12, and they didn't have the kid competition back then. You know, you just all, like, got in there together. And um, I played that tune on the banjo, and I ended up, I got seventh place, and there was this man that was really mean to me, and he got eighth. <laughs> so, it's like Jesus was holding my hand. I remember thinking, yes, he was. I know that isn't what you want, Lord. Okay, sorry. <laughs> but I beat him, so. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so we're, I'm still doing that song, you know, it's like it just means a lot to me. So what, what else do you want to do, Michael? Well, uh, Marla was mentioning earlier, uh, and Jim, that uh, I used to play with my family. Of course, we still do. Yeah. The McLean Family Band, it was my dad and uh, older brother Raymond and si three sisters. And, uh, um, yep, and we still do that. And we still do that. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was a wonderful way to grow up, and uh, a lot of a lot of wonderful music. Uh, my dad and brother wrote this song, and they were a long way from home. They were in Japan, and really homesick. And uh, they realized the same wind that was blowing blew across Kentucky too. So, kind of uh, made them feel better. And uh, so we're going to do this song uh, that they wrote called Kentucky Wind. The wind sings and holds. Song in Kentucky, half remembered from some other time and place. It brings back now and then an old time feeling left over from its never ending race. Sing to Kentucky wind sing to me
Kentucky wind sing to me. Well, I met Michael long ago. I actually saw the McLean family band when I was a teenager. Um, we we had met my mom and dad and I. We had a band, Reva Banks and the Country Folk, and um, we went to play. We'd met Jeanette Carter. We'll start with that. And Dale Jett, they were playing. We were playing at Radford University at a show with them, and they invited us to come play at the Carter Fold. And so we had never been to the Carter Fold before, and so we went to see what went on there because we were going to go play. We wanted to. We were like, "Wow, we've heard, you know, you know about the Carter family, and wanted to see it." Well, the week before, um, we went, and guess who was there? It was the McLean family band. <laughs> it was, and we had only seen them like on magazines and stuff, so we were really excited to see the McLean. Yeah, and. There was there was a Bluegrass Unlimited that we had. We kept, we had an old cradle. You would like this cradle, but it was old. It was my grandpa's. And um, in it, we kept our Bluegrass Unlimited. <laughs> All of them piled up. And there was a picture there of the McLean family band. And they were on, um, they were in Alaska on, what was it called? A glacier. Oh, they were on a glacier <laughs> in Alaska. I mean, it was cool. It was really cool. Ice. They were on the ice. They were on the ice. And apparently you're not supposed to get on the glaciers, but they didn't know that. And whenever that was taken, they were, um, it, I don't know if Michael was, were you in that picture? Uh, yeah, I didn't have an instrument. The, the okay, other, my older little. brother and sisters had instruments, and Nancy Ann and I, the, the youngest of the, of the bunch, we were kind of running around, but. So we were on the glacier, and actually they told us that you're not supposed to get on the glaciers because they melt from the bottom and turn upside down. <laughs> so <laughs> so y'all They didn't tell us that until after. So Wow, and they knew that beforehand? So you're like, did you like us? <laughs> but anyway, I'd seen the McLean family band before, and I moved. Um, so we, I remember we were at the Carter Fold, and we played there for several years, and um, I moved to Nashville, and I was at Belmont. I was taking some lessons. I, was, I went to school in North Carolina. I moved to Nashville, and I'm like, well, I want to take some lessons. I, I took some saxophone. I played saxophone. I took some saxophone lessons, and I heard some banjo playing next door to me, and I was like, who in the heck is that playing that banjo? I've got to go find this out. And so I went and knocked on the door, and it was Michael. And he came out and was like, I knew he was a McLean when I saw him, you know, because they all look look related. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering what, where you were going with that, but uh, mm. related, yeah. Related. <laughs> <laughs> he had dark curly hair. <laughs> Show him, Michael. <laughs> But anyway, so I went to see who that was, and we got to talking, and um, well, after a while, I guess we, we went out on a date, and we took our banjos on our first date. I said, well, bring your banjo with you, and we went to Cracker Barrel, and we played banjos, and that was it. Right there, he Biscuits had me. Biscuits and banjos. That's, what, that's, the, <laughs> yeah. that's the secret. That's right. So happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> So it's been 20 years. It'll be 21 let's, in uh, September. That's so. right. All right, what you going to play? Well, let's play another tune. We can tell them some more later. Okay, All sorry. Right. We'll do a tune by one of my favorite players, uh, Sonny Osborne. And uh, he, yeah. Sonny sold me this banjo when I was 18 years old, and I've been playing it ever since. And I really appreciate that. Uh, so we'll do a run that Sonny wrote called Sled Ride.
You want to play another tune? Sure. Uh, I'll do another one <laughs> by another one of my favorite players, uh, whose name is Allison Brown. And uh, she was nice enough to sit down and show me this tune. I've always appreciated it so much. It's one that she wrote called Lorelei. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. LaVon's daughter, Lorelai, granddaughter. So we'll dedicate that to her, certainly. A tune called Lorelai. Thank you, Marla. Well, we'll do you one of the Tennessee State songs. Um, we live out in Tennessee now, and um, this is one of our favorite tunes. Somebody asked us to do this for some special event that they were having, and it just stuck with us. It, people just seem to seem to love this song. So we'll. Just go ahead and call it up. That's right, all the Kentucky and <laughs> row four seats one and two. <laughs> it's the it's the Tennessee Waltz. So. <laughs> Just how much 
Well, that's great. That's We're wonderful. We're on our way. <laughs> We're one third. <laughs> we, uh, Marla mentioned our CD earlier, and uh, I have a couple I'd like to give away. So uh, it's Valentine's Day. So whoever, how many Marla, of you, you have been married at least 10 years? Raise your hands. To the same person. To the same person. <laughs> okay. What about 20 years? Raise your hand if you've been married 20 years. You better raise your hand. All right. What about 30 years? 50 years? All right. How many have been married 60 years? 59. Is there anyone that's been married more than 59 years? 63. Pauline, come on up. We have a have a present. This is Miss Pauline Horn, and it's uh, yes. You're welcome. We're so glad to see so many friends. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about? All right. Awesome. Well, that's a, that's a good one. What about uh, who's been married less than ten years? Okay, oh. what about five years? Who's been married less than five years? <laughs> All right, less than three years? Oh. All right, anybody been married less than three years? All right, come on up, buddy. This is, Hunter, are you married? No, <laughs> stop. So, this is rigged. Who'd, who'd been married five years? Where was a three? I saw... I saw some Has somebody been married for you three said years? Three years. <laughs> well, come on up. We have we have a, we have a gift for you. There was somebody That's else the though. All right. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Jennifer, let's do a let's do another gospel song. Okay. How about a Mahalia Jackson song? Oh, a good one. Lord, don't let me fail. Okay.
we are all like sheep.
So I say that we pick what this week, we go ahead and give it. The other thing Carl said, and you know, I, I told you about this, Carl, I, uh, they showed the nurse the picture of the show, and Carl doing this commercial, you know, Carl <laughs> DC and Tobin, and he got the phone number done, and I will tell you, that shirt's going to button now, he's lost like 20 pounds. <laughs> We'll do you another tune from our new CD. Um, this is one that Michael wrote. And uh, we live in a neighborhood um, of Apple Street. It's, an, it's called Apple Valley. And all the streets have apple names. And so we're always thinking about apples. And Michael wrote this tune. And he said, I think I'm going to call this tune Macintosh. So hit it. <laughs> there Michael well thank you you know uh, Jennifer was telling you a little bit our about our story earlier uh, and when I um, first met Jennifer well let me tell you a little bit more <laughs> uh, uh, background <laughs> Jennifer uh, of course y'all have know uh, Jennifer's parents and she uh, sang all around this part of the country in North Carolina uh, for many years and when Jennifer went to college she had a scholarship to go to Elon University and she was a saxophone major. And 
uh, very accomplished. They didn't have a banjo or mandolin major. So. <laughs> and after college, she moved to Williamsburg, Virginia, and went to work at Bush Gardens in one of the shows there. She played the saxophone and the banjo. Yeah. Mostly the banjo. Mostly the banjo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and after the season was done, a lot of her friends from her show decided they wanted to move to Nashville. And they did to start a band. And uh, Jennifer was uh, at Belmont University, and that connects with the story she was telling you earlier where she met, where we met. And she was across the hall, and uh, she heard me playing the banjo, but I heard her play the saxophone and the piano and the banjo, <laughs> and then came over and the knock on the door. I thought, my gosh, who in the world is this? And it was Jennifer. <laughs> We've been married 21 years. It will be in September. 20, almost, yeah. almost 21 years. So, it's been 21 good ones. So, thank you. We would just like to dedicate our version of "Love Me Tender" to you two. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You want to do "Hit the Road and Go"? Okay. We'll do a Johnny Cash song. Hit the Road and Go. <laughs> And looked into your eyes And something was as wrong As if the sun forgot to rise I pulled out a road map And I checked a few good places That I know mm. And if you're no longer given I believe I'll hit the road and go Well I just got the feeling That the fire was burning out Cause the air was growing colder We do. Maybe work on that for next time, Charlie. <laughs> we don't. That's a good one, though. I like it. Let's hear it for Chris and Gary. Yay, Chris and Gary! Way to go, y'all. No, we don't do any Merle. But love that Merle Haggard. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> tell you who I do love is my mom and <laughs> we um, thank you and uh, we'll do this we want to do a song um, 
And if you'd like to sing, we can do that. But I, I, this is, okay. Well, let's do this one first. This is a song that she and I, really, she wrote it, and then I kind of jumped in and me, yeah, stole it, basically. <laughs> We did it on our CD, and uh, it was it was actually, we did it initially as a fast bluegrass tune, and then I decided, I was like, well, this would be really cool slow. We were messing around with it and stuff and decided to do a kind of slow version, and it's actually about um, where we're from. The idea came from a store. It was called the Snake Creek Store, and it was down on Snake Creek Road, and I remember going there when I was real little, and Mom went there when she was a little girl. They used to walk to the store, you know, and get different candy and things and um which it's closed now and so i'm so glad to be in this beautiful store that you've restored and have it's so wonderful we thank you so much for doing this it's just wonderful marla and so this is a sad song about the store <laughs> but this is <laughs> this is the pre you know it's I don't do a lot of sad songs because they just make me sad and make me feel bad, you know, and, and so I try to bring joy. We want to bring joy to people and things, but also, I mean, we do have these memories of, of things that have gone, you know, and, um, but this is, this is kind of an ode to that. It's called Boomtown. <laughs> My hometown is empty in this valley below. Trains stopped coming 50 years ago. Houses are crumbling and falling down. No more booming in this old boom town. Boom town. You know, I just love to hear uh, Reva and her mom sing together. And, um,
Don't do that. Okay. okay. That's fine. This is a song that was um, written by Hank Williams, actually. Where did you hear this song? Charlie Monroe. Okay. <laughs> I did not know that. And um, we've been doing it since I was a little girl. Uh, yeah. And it's one called, When I Get to Glory, I'm going to Sing, Sing, Sing. And if you don't know it, you'll get it quick. So just sing yeah, with us. Just sing with us. <laughs> Valentine's Day special for you. Um, this is one that um, it was actually a Beatles tune originally and then um, in the 90s I believe there was a version that Alison Krauss did with um, shoot, what's his name Michael? Banjo. Tony Furtado. Tony Furtado. I believe he's a banjo player from California and he's a very um, His, no, that was we. We need to talk with him about that. <laughs> we'll be calling him up. <laughs> but this is one called "I Will."
I've loved you You know I love you still Well, I wait a lonely lifetime If you want me to, I will And if I ever saw you I didn't catch your name But it doesn't really matter I will always feel the same Love you forever and forever Love you with all my heart Love you whenever we're together Love you when we're apart And when at last I find you Your song will fill the air Sing it loud so I can hear you Make it easy to be near you And the things you do endear you to me How you know I will Love you forever and forever Love you with all my heart Love you whenever we're together Love you when we're apart And when at last I find you Your song will fill the air Sing it loud so I can hear you Make it easy to be near you And the things you do endear you to me How you know I Well, Jennifer and I are going to do a tune that uh, was made popular by Myron Florin that played it on the Lawrence Welk Show on the accordion. And this is a tune from the 30s. And it was originally a big band tune uh, called The Lady of Spain. And um, it's, uh, it's on the new CD as well. And um, I forget, is it, um, who's playing on that? Well, Dan Kelly's on there. Dan Kelly. And um, Mike Bubb. And you and me. Anybody else? And um, did Ronnie play on that? No, I think it's just us. Oh. Wanda um, played on not on this one. Wanda. Um, yeah, Wanda uh, Vic Birchfield that you may have seen on TNN or with the uh, she had had a group uh, a major label country artist uh, band called Wild Rose. And uh, Wanda played, you may have seen her play in the Telecaster and the Dobro, and uh, she plays about everything. And uh, she played on the CD. Uh, she came and, and played some Dobro, and so we're so thankful that she did that. Oh, and Dale Ann Bradley. Uh, Marla, when, when was the last time Dale Ann was here, Marla? At, at Christmas. Well, that's just wonderful. I, I thank the world of Dale Ann. I used to, I had the privilege of playing with her in her band for a year. And uh, was so glad. I think of so much of Dale Ann. And uh, she'll be here in May, first Sunday in May. We celebrate seven years. Wow! All right, Yay. that's Amazing. wonderful. I I just think uh, this is such a, a beautiful thing uh, for you to do, Marla and Jim. I I can tell this is a wonderful community of people. And the sweet uh, Adelines. And the sweet there. Adelines. Yeah. They all volunteer their time just. Because they love being here. And yeah, things like so this wonderful. don't just happen. <laughs> Wait. They love you? They love being here? Yeah. Because <laughs> Marla said so. <laughs> well, we're going to do this uh, tune poem, The Lady of Spain. One, two, three.
so much. We'll do real quick, we'll do a tune. Um, this one, y'all might know, I, I used to enter this a lot in contests. It's an Earl Scruggs tune. Um, it's actually an Earl Scruggs. We never met Earl Scruggs. And we went the other week, Ramona Jones used to have, Ramon and Grandpa would have these parties at their house. And um, we had a party the other day. I was just talking, we had one at Elisa Jones, is her daughter. And um, we were, we went, but several years ago, Mom and Daddy went and we all went and we sat there and we took a cake, we baked a cake. <laughs> and Earl and Louise Scruggs sat right behind us at this party. And they had, they had their own special chair and I, just could we we I mean we're the biggest Earl Scruggs fans in the world and we just couldn't say anything to him we're like we're just gonna leave him alone you know he came to this party but he liked our cake you know he was like Earl's eating our cake and so <laughs> it was so exciting but this is one of his tunes <laughs> that I couldn't ever Earl you know we love you buddy <laughs> so this is one called Shucking the Corn I did tune, so all right, here we go. Jennifer Banks McLean. Oh, good one. Uh, Marla, Marla said to ask who has the most kids. So uh, she, uh, she has a surprise. Who thinks she so might have the most if you, kids? If you, have one, <laughs> if you have at least one child, raise your hand. That's a good one. Okay. What if, who she has three? <laughs> yeah, Always Tammy's kids. got hundreds of kids. Yes. Uh, okay, uh, who has uh, at least five children? Raise your hand. Anybody got five? Four? Twelve? <laughs> All right. Cecil. Well, I'd say that's pretty good. Oh, wow. All right, Marla's got a, got a present for you. All right. Well, we'd like to do a tune uh, from the new CD, and it's, it's a Leuven Brothers song. And uh, my um, <laughs> my uh, brother uh, loves to tell the story about his wife because she loves this song, and she she asked Michael and Jennifer, "Would you please sing this at my funeral?" And we were very touched, and we said, "Well, of course, we'd be happy to." And no, so I said, I'd like to go ahead and do it for you, Diane. And, <laughs> yeah, well, Jennifer said, long. well, I think if it's okay, we'd like to go ahead and do it for you now. <laughs> <laughs> We're not ready for you to go yet. So it's, called, <laughs> it's called I'm Ready to Go Home. G 
Jesus all along the way. But now life's evening sun for me is setting. I have reached the ending of my way. Lord, I've been We do okay. We do a couple more for you. We hadn't got Michael to sing any for you yet, so we'd like to do that. This is a song by Doc Watson, uh, Doc and Merle Watson, and uh, it's called Southbound. I've been here much more stuck in this old city. People that have to go home, they're the ones I pity when I'm homesick. And the blues are the only songs I ever sing. I get out and walk the streets till I got blisters on my feet. Southbound.
All right. Uh, Marla has another another gift. Uh, who has a dog that they love? More than their spouse. <laughs> 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 How many dogs? Who's got five dogs? Somebody got some five dogs? You got four dogs? Yeah. <laughs> All, All right. right. How is about there, a kitty cat? Is there anyone that has a cat? Raise your hand if you have a cat. Does anyone have two cats? Three cats? Not willing to admit. Four? Are you single? No. <laughs> Five <laughs> cats. How many cats you got? You won't tell us. Marla, yeah. we have a winner. Four? Right, right back here. Four cats. Okay. All right. <laughs> You're still good. If you... Well, oh, that's well. pretty good. You know, <laughs> if... <laughs> oh no! Do you dress her up? Okay. So, well. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> you know, if y'all want to uh, join us online, you're welcome to visit oh, yeah. our website, and it's a cat name. It's Banjo Cats. Right. And That's if you want to go there, com. there's uh, <laughs> newsletters there. There's a story about this guitar. There's a, a article about Dan Kelly, who's going to be here with us on June 12th, okay. and uh, lots of other uh, interesting things. So if you want to, if you want to visit, we have a Facebook page and uh, banjocats.com. This is an interesting song. Having a, having a meeting. Sorry. And uh, this is a song that, it's on our CD. Um, it's. And this one, it actually made the singles chart. We're on the charts, it's folks. Where we were num This song went, went to number nine on the Roots Music Report. So we on were, traditional it's, bluegrass. So. It's first time for everything. Not yet. We, you want us to do it first? Roots Bluegrass. Roots Bluegrass. <laughs> Look down on me if you want to 
You can count me up, don't count long. I lost my taste for love before. It goes away, but it don't stay gone. This old heart, this old heart is gonna gone. rise again. This old heart, this old heart's gonna rise again. This old heart, this old heart. asked me to read this. This is from uh, basic, instru basic Instructions Before Leaving Earth here in Corinthians. We, we read that uh, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always preserves. Thank you so much for that. Beautiful. Uh, I think we have time for a couple more. Do we? All right. Okay. Y'all sing along with us if you want. This world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up. Somewhere beyond the blue The angels beckon me From heaven's open door And I can't feel at home In this world anymore Oh Lord, you know I have no 
friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Just over in glory land, we'll live eternally. The saints on every hand are shouting victory. The songs of sweetest praise lift up from heaven shore. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me. From heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. No, I can't feel at When I walked up to the window, we want to thank y'all so much for having us. We've had a great time with you, and we're so thankful to be with you and for your kindness and care for us and our families. And just thank you so much, and we're excited to see you in June. And so we hope to see you down the road. Thank you. Thank you. When I walked up to the window, I said, give me a ticket, please. She said, where to, sister? I said, that's all right with me because I'm restless. I need to get out of this town. Take me where the living's easy. Baby, that's where I'll be found. Well, honey, tell that driver, put his big foot on the gas and take this old greyhound just as long as it might last because I'm restless. I need to get out of this town, yeah. Take me where the living's easy. Baby, that's where I'll be found. All right, Michael. Take this old greyhound any place she wants to go Because I'm restless I need to get out of this town Yeah Take me where the living's easy Baby, that's where I'll be found Pick that thing, Michael
I'm traveling light Cause my feet going far I'm taking nothing but my own RB4 Because I'm restless I need to get out of this town Yes, I do Take me where the living's easy Baby, that's where I'll be found Take us out of here, baby Thank you all so much. Oh, We've had a Valentine's wonderful time. Happy Valentine's Day.